guys it's Caitlin from Caitlin's VSG journey and I'm doing my weekly check-in because I did my weekly weigh-in today so um I am pre-op and I started at not even my highest recorded because I was pregnant and blah 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 I started at 3.35, my, uh, the first consultation that I had at my doctor's, I was 3.31, and, um, excuse me, excuse me, um, I was 3.31, and today, last week I weighed in at 3.17.2, with a weight loss of, I think, 0.2 pounds, today I weighed in at 3.15.2, okay, so, I was really pumped about that. Um, I have been feeling really, this is TMI, everybody talks about it, but still, I've been feeling really, like, backed up, and I just, I don't know, I, I was worried for a little bit there, I was worried that it was gonna be, like, adding, like, three pounds to my, my weight, but, I'm, it, obviously, it didn't, so, um, I lost two pounds this week, that means I have two more pounds to go to get to goal weight, I'm pumped, um, this coming Monday, I meet with my nutritionist for the second time, and she's gonna judge me on my food entries through my fitness pal. I'm a little bit worried, a little bit worried, especially because I'm going out to eat right now with a girlfriend, and there will be alcohol involved, and maybe even some unnecessary carbohydrates. But, um, yeah, so I meet with her on Monday, and then I meet with my surgeon in a couple weeks. And yeah, not much has actually gone on this week. Um, I'm actually, you know what? I have been taking biotin and another supplement. I don't remember the name of it. If you're interested in it, comment below and I'll figure it out. It's at work. But I bought a supplement off of Sephora because I was like, you know, my hair is really thin to begin with. It's just, ever since I had kids, it's really thin. Like you can see like my scalp it's just not it's not cute at all so I'm like terrified of the hair loss portion of this so I bought um some supplement like I did so much research no it had good ratings on sephora.com so it was like good enough for me so I purchased it and I've been taking it for a couple weeks and honestly my nails this is gross but like I need to feel so bad but that's how I know my nails are growing I used to be able to go to I used to go two weeks because a girlfriend of mine got hers done and her nails would be like grown out and you couldn't even tell mine had grown for like two or three weeks. So I know that it's working because look at that. And I really want a finger tattoo. So I drew on myself at work today. I know. I drew a couple of them. Like I really want a finger tattoo. That's besides point. I actually have a tattoo gun that my boyfriend gave me for my birthday because I paint and I, you know, I do makeup and I do face paint and stuff like that. And so he got me a tattoo gun that I haven't practiced with yet, but I might tattoo my finger. I'm just afraid that I'll like jump and like do a whole line at my finger or something ridiculous that I can't like erase, you know what I'm saying? So, um, anyways, I can tell that my nails are growing because the fill is needed desperately and I really feel like my hair is longer not necessarily thicker I still have thin AF hair like thin as what um, but I feel like it's like helping me grow hair and like I said I'm trying to prepare myself for the hair loss portion of this journey um, and I don't know hopefully it helps like baby hairs grow and like look see you can see my scalp and everything it's just so thin I've been trying to like find something that I can like this is embarrassing but I found like this spray can like roots uh, gray be gone spray can at Walgreens today and I bought it and I tried it and um, maybe it did up here you can't really can you really see oh it feels so gross but I don't know I just need something to like spray on my scalp sometimes I put like eyeshadow um like when I wear my hair up it's really noticeable I haven't even gone through surgery and I'm like dealing with this um so when I put my hair up a lot of times I will put um eyeshadow in just to kind of mask it because your hair will like th look thicker you know what I mean if your scalp isn't showing through so uh a quick brush of eyeshadow does the trick if you're wondering my tip to you you're welcome so I lost two pounds I'm sitting here babbling um if you can hear that, it's starting to downpour right now. I'm in my car, getting ready to go, and it's literally pouring. But, lost two pounds, I'm excited. Nothing much has been going on. I haven't been exercising as much, or really at all. It's so hot here, so hot. Like, and I don't have AC in my whole house, so I've literally been getting home, not even cooking dinner, just like 
kids have sandwiches or bring home food for them to eat and then I'll eat like I don't know I don't even know what I've been eating that's bad um I've journaled it for my nutritionist though so I could tell you if you wanted me to look it up um and I've just been going in my bedroom because that's the only place we have an AC so it's just been really hot and humid and gross I live in Massachusetts and it's so humid here it's just not cute so yeah not much going on not exercising really trying to watch what I eat my water intake and uh, tonight I'm gonna cheat I feel like you know what I had here's another little confession I had um, some rav ravioli no peaking ravioli yesterday for lunch I did I've been craving it for weeks and weeks and the craving hasn't gone away and so I did it you know what I mean this is gonna be my lifestyle so I'm not gonna totally deprave myself because that's how I'm gonna fall back and I'm not gonna succeed is I'm gonna say I'm never gonna eat Chinese food again in my life I'm never gonna have margarita again in my life it's not gonna work I'm telling you right now I, I cannot do that so I'm living my life do you know what I mean I'm still gonna be mindful of everything throughout the week and if I have a cheat meal or two in a week I'm gonna you know make up for it I'm still logging that stuff so I know I'm still within my calories sure my carbs are going a little bit higher than I want them to but I will make up for it in the long run so that's kind of my mindset now I'm not gonna beat myself up over it this is my life you know what I mean like I'm 31 years old I have a hopefully knock on something knock on wood I have a long time go you know ahead of me to live and I don't want to I don't want to just be miserable I want to live my life so that's what I'm doing I'm living people. I am living my life. Don't judge me. Okay, so yeah, this is the most ridiculous update of life. I apologize. I wish I had more exciting things to talk to you about. But I know, and it's Friday and I am pumped. This was a hard week at work. I found myself not drinking a lot of water. I still got at least 70 ounces a day, but I like to get 120 at least when I'm at work. And then come home and, you know, we get the 16 ounce bottles of water and I'll drink a few of those. But, whew. Been a, it's been a week man it's been a week for sure so thank you for watching if you watched if you stuck through with me um thanks for subscribing and commenting if you have i have been hooked like using all my data at work because i've been watching so many vsg videos and subscribing to new channels and um i don't know i'm just excited i'm just really excited for this so um thank you for watching if you did um i appreciate you subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey hopefully um september or october i'll have my surgery so follow me and um yeah i'm on instagram caitlin's vsg journey um yeah thanks for watching guys have a great weekend or night or day whenever you're watching this thanks so much and i will check you later bye where's the stop button